Okay, bring it back a little bit more. Sir, I'd like to see driver's license registration <laughs> insurance. Stop. All right, stop. Let's drop it. Let's drop it quick. Okay. Come back, come back, come back. I go. We will wear you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't walking out there. You crazy, boy. You have no idea. <laughs> I got scared. Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Fresh Horse Painting Ham, Louisiana. We are working on this beautiful church building, education building. Um, we have a trainee here today, Mr. Mike. He's uh, learning some downstreaming techniques, hands-on, teaching him a little bit about how our chemical ratios work and um, also our wind conditions because it's a bit windy today. That's real important to learn about those wind conditions to keep yourself from getting dosed constantly with the sodium hypochlorite so he's over there with my guys getting getting some of that training really enjoying himself he just came in from quite a bit of a drive away several several hours so we are glad to have him in and we're going to be doing this more often as well so if you're interested in some in-person training please get in touch with me personally to check our availability and schedule so what we have going on here um we've downstreaming this uh front of this church building um just to remove some of the mold, mildew, spider webs, dirt divers, nests, things like that. We use it about a 0.75%. If you're um, unfamiliar with chemical ratios, uh, please check out our chemical ratio chart on our resource page. I'll also put a link in the description and also I'll pin one in the comments as well so you can go find some more helpful information to help grow your power washing business. So as I was explaining here, Mike is learning our wind conditions. He's learning how much to fact it, how many ounces per gallon, how much sodium hypochlorite, doing that mixture and downstreaming for our current conditions. Our current conditions are a bit rainy and the temperature is somewhere in the low 70s. So that does change things up quite a bit when you are applying chemicals to siding. Also, we're gonna be tasked with cleaning that uh, roof there, big giant roof educational building just over 10,000 square feet a beautiful job for us to land many many thousands of dollars so we're happy about that also we're going to be doing a historical building and a multi-million dollar mansion and a very uh, urban area alleyway and uh, so we got a lot coming up to teach mr mike he's gonna be hanging out with us for a couple days here and, and we're enjoying his company and showing him all the tips and tricks of the business also we're talking about pricing we're showing him some marketing stuff so when he leaves here the next couple of days he's going to be well equipped with um everything they needs to to go out and be successful with his power washing business so guys y'all hang tight and we'll be back shortly all right guys what we're doing here we're doing some extreme soft washing to um this sand finish red brick building this is a red brick building with this sand finish on it this is um fairly new only months old so this sand finish isn't quite cured in all the way. We got one of our guys, Jacob and John. John is being trained today as well. Um, just kind of getting a feel for this soft touch washing, just taking down some dirt divers nests, spider webs, that sort of thing. Nothing really outstanding on this other than uh, your normal bug nests and stuff, some locusts and stuff like that. So we're just doing a really soft wash on him. Um, percentage wise, 0 0.05, so a half of a percent. It's a real gentle soft wash. You just get some of these nests down, spiders, that sort of thing. And I always let my customers know after we come in, after things dry, once we knock all these nests, if they can have pest control come in and treat the bottom foundation. So y'all hang tight. We're gonna be showing y'all a couple other things. All right, guys, as we see here, we training one of these guys how to do some surface cleaning and do the surface cleaning properly. Our overlap marks, some of the do's and don'ts, some of the stop marks. Sometimes there's some issues with guys standing still for too long, different types of concrete, different PSI, different spray tips underneath the surface cleaner. That matters as well. So as you see here, we're working on this very beautiful mansion here. So all of this really matters, especially working on very high-end new homes, new concrete, much softer than older cured concrete. So a lot of this stuff matters to get this hands-on experience, this hands-on training. Hey guys, Billy Davidson here. We are uh, second day of training. We are downtown 
into pouring rain trying to get our trailer parallel in here just to drop it and roll. We got uh, Chris being um, traffic control here. He is getting the real training. This is how it goes. So we're trying to get this tucked in all the way. Busy downtown Hammond, Louisiana. So we're trying to get this wheel on the inside that curb. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, bring it back a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'd like to see driver's license registration <laughs> insurance. <laughs> so yeah, we um man it is pouring rain Sunday morning. It smells good downtown though here. Yeah. All right, let's check this in. Come on back a little bit more. All right, stop. Let's drop it. Let's drop it quick. Hey, Jacob, hop out. As soon as we get this released, Chris, I'm going to try to bump it over. So, Jacob, put some hands on it. Okay. Put the hands on the trailer. All right. All right. Just see if it'll slide over, bump it over. Yep. Just watch your feet. Keep going. We're going more. Yep. All right, Chris, get your car out the road. Uh, let Jacob go first because you're still blocking him in. Jacob, hop in. Right. Just go park around the corner and lock it up and bring the keys to him. Make sure you lock it up. You go first. And then Kristen follows behind you because he's blocking you. Nothing than that. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> hey, easy money. All righty. All right, guys, this is still uh, training day number two. Um, we downtown Hammond, Louisiana. Very historical part of Hammond. We got things settled down to calm down, so I wanted to shoot some video of this, show y'all what we up to and how we landed the job. And we're going to talk about the price real here here in a second in this clip so we are uh stitching all these clips together as you'll see probably um all of them strung together so down this alleyway here is where uh we working at so we're gonna walk in there also wanted to let you know there may be some smudges of water drops on the camera periodically i'm gonna try to wipe it like right now because it is pouring down raining so hang tight all right maybe that'll help out so this is an alleyway here um we landed this job actually off of Justin's uh, Facebook ad strategy. You know, I wasn't really wasn't that much a believer in it, but man, he's he's coming through. He's hammering these away one after another. If y'all interested in that Facebook ad strategy, please go check out the resource channel. I'll put in, pin a link in a comment and put a link in the description and you can get that local domination course. And I promise you, you will not regret it. Whatever they charging for it is worth that times 10. So, Pretty significant amount of washing. I'm gonna head on back in through here. This is a really tight alleyway. It's a courtyard area. Um, canopy here. Buildings. Like I said, off that Facebook ad strategy. This is the only time it can be done because they are closed only today. So we're gonna be heading on back through here, this alleyway. That's where our body is. We're applying some SH. How's that jacket working out for you? It's working out good. I'm nice and dry. Me too. I like the colors of it. You can be seen. Mm -hmm. we want All right. Pre -pre what about y'all want to hit this? Yeah, let's let's hit that for yeah. for good good measure. Watch your burst pressure and bounce. It's gonna bounce back and ricochet. Yeah. Just go go low and then you need to back up about 15 feet. It's gonna yeah. dose you. Yeah. Come back. Come back. Come back. Tell Chris he. Just, uh, we're gonna pre-treat. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go. I did reduce the, the pressure on that just to, up. um, get that big spot on that wall. Yeah. I reduced it because I knew this was tight quarters, PSI. Yeah. So, Billy, that's only about 1% coming out? 
Yeah, there's only about one percent coming out there. It's we got yep, we got twelve point five in the bucket down there. So downstreaming yep. on two hundred feet of hose, we're getting about one percent. Here, I'm gonna go ahead. How do you go? That's pretty amazing. Stuff, right? What it's gonna do? Just one percent. Yeah. Yeah. So what you want to go backwards some? Yeah, I'm gonna retreat the rest of this stuff that we're gonna be cleaning. It's not gonna clear this up completely, but it is start to to break it down, soften yeah. it up. But on hey on brick, you have to uh, you have to really hit it with your wand, like. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna use that J rod on that, and we're gonna use that tighter fan tip. Okay. Now on a four gallon per minute machine, you'd have to go down to a white tip, or okay. either come in here with a pump up sprayer or something and treat it like a 50-50 mix. Okay. But you could white tip this all down. I would lower that idle down to about fifty percent. Even on my machine. Yeah, even on that machine, like forty four hundred pounds of pressure is just yeah. too much. Or you're gonna be blowing brick off the wall okay, so the, the white tip to 40 degrees is perfect for doing this brick um lower that half down that's gonna put you down to around at 2000 psi but you're still gonna be pushing at least three gallons a minute yeah. and that'll clean that up all day long i've done done it a thousand times okay cool. but you'll see even with that j-rod now that j-rod is going to be pushing eight gallons a minute but only seven five to seven hundred psi and it is to clean it so you got okay. those two cleaning units, okay. PSI and then volume. Both of them are cleaning units. Okay. Sometimes you can utilize the PSI, but most of the time we use, utilize the volume. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, recording just to... No, that's, yeah, that's, right. that's fine. Thanks, man. It is a pretty uh, significant alleyway in here. Yep. This is nice. Oh, wow. It's already uh, changed the color on the right. Yeah. Because the right bottom down there was so much green, mm -hmm. like all the way over there where the yellow paint is. Right, okay, dang, yeah, it's already working. So guys, this is it. Our yeah. trainee's asking questions, we're answering, he's getting wet and dirty. And it is raining for this sure. Green. Yeah, it's definitely changing it already. That's some hot mix we got it's going so on. Actually, the uh, pavement's all green and dirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, imagine once you come in here with the surface cleaner, it's really gonna make a difference. All right. All right, guys, we're still training today, day two. Another big project we're working on is a pretty good size home here. And I'll show you something really interesting back here. We're kind of watching out for these, um, those big lizards with teeth back here. We're cleaning up this boat canopy. So just getting this all cleaned up. We trained Mike on this as well. He's um, also ran some mock quotes for us today. So that's really interesting. Some of the stuff next door, we did some mock quotes on. We quoted the job that we're working on. So what I mean by that, I let him do a mock quote, acted um, more like role playing. Let, you know, I'm acting like the homeowner being silly because you know sometimes it happens with homeowners. They really, um, get involved with some silly questions so i was throwing some of those questions at him and uh showed him the power of a measuring wheel and how to quote these jobs and then comparing it with what we're actually getting so he can get some hands-on experience with that as well so if you guys ever come out for some training you'll see what i'm talking about we are hands-on we will wear you out <laughs> We did one big project this morning, went and ate lunch. Had a really nice lunch conversation. Still talking shop, talking about pressure washing, parking lot striping, that sort of thing. <laughs> really, you learn by teaching, you know that, right? Yeah. There's an old saying is you never know something until you start to teach it, and that's when you really love, start that's to learn it. Uh, my unit, yeah. yeah. one, do one, teach one, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. So I see you do it. And uh, you do it, I do it, and then uh, I and you teach it. it. That's right. That's it. Could you teach me how to swim across this river? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not you know, today. Actually, I don't need to teach you because once an alligator comes, you'll know how to swim. <laughs> you'll know. <laughs> have y'all have y'all seen any heads pop up, big Chris? Uh, Apex. What would you do if one pops up out there? You gonna leave uh, him alone? I'll run. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> squirt, squirt him in the face. Man, the way the wind's blowing, it feels like a hurricane's coming. 
Did you see that big rock on the chest of feet? No, well, where's he at? No, right on his feet. It is the, um, that thing had like 50 wafts in it. And I knocked it down and kept spraying them when they were flying and sprayed the ones that tried to fly towards me. Yeah, that is, that's a big old nest. Yeah, I, you see the end of the concrete, bro. Right? Someone on the other side of that end. What do you mean, over here? Yeah. This is it's a, just a good little drop dock. off, huh? Yeah, I ain't walking out there. You crazy, boy. You have no idea. Look, <laughs> Jack <Jake> got scared. <laughs> What'd you thought happened? <laughs> dude, that dude would snatch you out for this dog and, and take you under. It'd be three bubbles and one squeal, and that'd be over with. So, guys, we're back with our soft wash pump. We're letting Mike uh, get a feel for that. Different tip sizes in there as well using um yellow fan tip on that gives you a little bit more of a finer spray we're using j-rod now j-rod you can move a little bit quicker with it puts out a little more flow and again wind conditions is something that's a topic always we talk guys we are finishing up our two-day training course here with Mike. We've had a lot of looks. We showed him some commercial work. We showed him some roof washing, a church, a bunch of other stuff, some vinyl side, and we showed him downstreaming, X jetting, soft wash, pumping, just a little bit of everything, some surface cleaning. Mike, you got any uh, final thoughts on your training for the no, last couple of days? I mean, it was, uh, I thought it was great. We first went to the church. I, I didn't really know what I was doing, right? I started this business right. and I thought to myself, I better get some training instead of just jumping right into it. I came out here and like in the first 10 minutes, I'm already learning things that I know for a fact I would have done wrong if I didn't take a course. And now you know how bleach smells. Oh, huh? you know how bleach <laughs> smells. I know how long to uh, to leave it there for dwelling. I know how to take care of the customer's property so that we don't damage anything. Awesome. All the things that you taught me that I guarantee you I would have messed up if I didn't take your course. What I like, yeah. what I like in this, I know we probably wore you out a bit, but I like you seeing how the different equipment works mm -hmm. and for different aspects. Mm -hmm. Cause not every piece of equipment is for every problem that mm -hmm. you have. You know, you got different tools in that toolbox. So yeah, they, that did great. And you, you're a quick learner, so I'm very yeah, impressed you. about that. You did really good on the pricing. You know, we okay. had those little mock-ups. Yeah, then, then the whole pricing. pricing thing, I wouldn't have known. I just, uh, it, the the money that I spent here is gonna be well, well, well worth it. I always yeah. tell guys, one mistake yeah. can, and can pay for all the training. <clears throat> You know, you yeah. can make a thousand dollar mistake in this business. Boom, just seems really pretty quick. easy, but not. I don't think I'm gonna make any mistakes. And also, I got your phone hey, number, so you can always I can reach call out. you if, and reach out. But yep. you know, being in the military, I understand the value of uh, training because I'm Absolutely. always doing training. Training, right? So I, one more thing, I purchased your uh, videos prior to coming out here, mm -hmm. and the sign video, for instance, is. Gold. Gold. I, I forgot yeah. what the price was in the sign video, but right. you're going to make that money back. Guaranteed. Tenfold. Tenfold in the first week. I'll call you with the results. We got a guy that put one of those signs out, and within eight hours, I got his video testimony, within eight hours, he had made $4,800 off of it. So I think he paid that's 100 amazing. bucks for the video. So that's yeah. great. Well, man, we appreciate it. Yep. I know you Thank got you. a bit of a drive Thank back home. Much. Again, yep. thanks for coming. Guys, if y'all need some in-person training, don't hesitate. We are doing this constantly. My phone number is 985-345-0778. Also, I'll put a link in the description for our resource page, and I'll pin my comment as well, my phone number again. Guys, again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing Painting. We hope you have a great afternoon, and we'll see you soon.